Hey guys, welcome to my video. I am your host as always, the J-Man, and today I'm going to bring you a comic book review. I know it's been a long time since I've done any comic book stuff, but uh, I'm still reading comic books, and this one I read quite a while ago. But uh, I'm going to give you the review today, my honest and thoughtful opinion. And here's the title, Conan and the Midnight God. It's backwards in the video, but you still get the point. And yes, this is the same book as in my preview, Conan and the Midnight God, published by Dark Horse Comics. Okay, uh, so yeah, for all the information and data and stats on this book, you can go to the preview video where I talk about all that. So I'm not really going to get into defining what this book is. I'm just going to I'm just going to review the content of the book and you know, give you my opinion. So, okay, um, yeah. Conan and the Midnight God. Well, it's not real long. As you can see, it's kind of thin. Um, but that's not a bad thing. It's mostly an action title. I'm going to say that. Really, um, well, you know, Conan, you'd expect there to be a lot of action. But, um, not much drama. That, that's a pretty good thing. I pretty much knew it would be that way when I bought it. Uh, that's what I expected. I wanted to see a, an action, an action-based graphic novel. Um, I like panels with a lot of action and dynamic scenes. So that's what I got it for. I mean, that and the art really, really looks good. Um, Dark Horse Comics Conan series. The art has been spectacular. I mean, really, really good artwork. Just to give you an idea, I'll show you some panels. Okay. You know, very detailed, very stylized, realistic looking. As you can see, Conan here. I mean, he looks spot on, just like the character is supposed to be. Just like he looked way back in the original comics. Uh, the original stories, sorry. Okay, so I want to talk about the story. Basically, this is a revenge narrative. Uh, it's a tale of Conan getting revenge on this evil guy for something that he did. And I'll get a little bit more into the plot, but... Having said that, it's pretty much just a revenge piece. That's kind of a deterrent. Um, I particularly don't like revenge tales because I think they're too cliche and they're too... They've been used too often. They're too prevalent. So I wish the plot was a little more complicated. Complex, but I'm not... I'm not it's not that bad. I'm not that upset about it. Um, yeah, a lot of comic book stories and plots are pretty much revenge based. Uh, the the story is driven by revenge a lot of times, so it's what you expect. It's what you'd expect. Um, okay, more about this. Let's see. Yeah, Conan the Barbarian. Conan, his character, at this point in time, he's the king of his land. Um, he's a little bit older, he's getting on in an age. You know, he's Conan. I mean, nothing out of character. He's very much the macho, kind of, you know, kind of egotistical, kind of arrogant, but more so the young Conan was that way. This Conan, I think, is more thoughtful, um, more heroic. Yeah, but the Conan character, I think it, it was very well portrayed in this. Um, the other characters in the story, there really weren't many of them. Conan's wife, but you don't see her very much. She doesn't say a whole lot. She is important to the plot, though. Um, you've got her. Then you've got the main villain. Will, who You really don't see the main villain until the end of the story, which is a pretty big disappointment. Um, 
the other characters, there's really not any. There's just Conan's soldiers who kind of stick with him, but they don't have any real personality. Uh, later on in the story, he meets the witch, but she doesn't stick around for very long. So that's a major flaw to this story, that there's no real characters in this story. So it's pretty much just Conan. Um, yeah, so as a story, as a plot, it leaves a lot to be desired, but as a graphic novel, I mean, it's got great artwork, like I said, and lots and lots of action. It's just really cool. I mean, you can imagine it. And it's 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 like a fairy tale. It's like a Saturday matinee. You know, it, it, it translates really well to film, to video. It's a great action piece. Very epic. Um, there's some really cool creatures in here. That's the thing about Conan books. They always have interesting creatures. If you like, uh, if you like creatures, and Conan's right up your alley. Um, but yeah. Pretty much the same thing, sword and sorcery, which are the type of stories that you're going to find when it comes to Conan. Very epic, though. That's what I like about it. It's very epic. Uh, towards the end of the book, the final confrontation with this creature, this uh, villain, is just, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool looking. Um, I don't want to spoil too much. This is definitely a mature title, though. Uh, lots of bloodshed. I'm going to give you a preview of it here, so if any kids watching, any young kids, probably need to turn away. This is very violent. Yeah, very gritty stuff. Very dark tones and uh, dark themes going on. I like it because it's an adventure piece, you know. He gets on the boat with his soldiers and he has to travel to this foreign land and he has to cross this, this uh, gigantic ocean or sea and it's just a really cool adventure and they have to travel even more when they get there but that's what I like about it and most of the Conan stories are adventure pieces from what I understand um, yeah it's a pretty good book I, I'm I'm very satisfied with it other than you know the plot could have been better but I wasn't expecting a lot um, I wish it wasn't a revenge tale, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I really wasn't disappointed. I'm going to have to give this on a scale of 1 to 10. Scale of 1 to 10. I'll give it a 7.5. 7 so, yeah, I encourage you to check out Conan and the Midnight God. Maybe you can get it at your library. Um, you know, you definitely order it online. And the Conan series by Dark Horse is just really a great series if you like action, if you like adventure. But you got to be a mature reader, and it's not for kids. So, there you have it. There's my final review of Conan and the Midnight God. Um, I'm just going to end it by giving you more previews of the artwork. Show you some artwork here. Pretty cool stuff. Trying to find a good panel. There's lots of panels that are good, but I want to find one that's going to stand out on the screen. Oh, here's a good one. So there you go, Conan and the Midnight God. Alright, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you next time.